Hi there, it's Chester Tupperle at Blue Beacon Computer Trading, and in this video we're going to look at how to add up times that exceed 24 hours. Now you're probably watching this video because you realise there's a problem when you try and do this, but let's see how it goes. So I've got a time sheet here, and I'm going to work out how much time is worked on each day. So this is fairly easy. Times are stored as numbers, so for example, midday is 0.5, um, six o'clock in the evening will be 0.75 so it's kind of a fraction of 24 hour period so I'd say clocked out minus clocked in and that gives me the time worked on that day and then I can copy this down and it gives me the time worked on each day of the week so I'm going to add these up so I might use auto sum to do this select the times and I get the strange answer 9 hours 30 so obviously we have worked more than nine hours 30 for a week. And the problem with this is due to the nature of the time format. Time formats are kind of designed for a clock, a 24 hour clock. So once it reaches, once it goes entirely around the clock and it reaches midnight, it resets to zero and then continues back around the clock. So we've gone around the clock once and then began the second time round and we got to 9.30 the next morning. So. The trick to solving this is a formatting issue. What we're going to do is to format the cells. So I'm going to right click on the cell and I'm going to choose format cells. And uh, by default, uh, you've probably got the custom format selected here. If you haven't, you need to go down to custom format and you need to make sure that HH colon MM is selected, but hopefully that's all in place anyway. And what we've got to do is we've got to edit this uh, format here. At the moment, you can see it's HH colon MM. Now, what you do is you put square brackets around the HH part of the format. And you can see up here in the sample box, it's changed from 9.30 to 33 hours and 30. So I've only put the square brackets around the HH part. If you're struggling to find where the square brackets are on your keyboard, look just to the right of the P key and you'll see them there. But the square brackets are only around the HH part, not around the MM part. Click on OK. And there we are, that solved our problem. Thank you very much for listening. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Peak and Computer Training.